Okay, so I'm Rob Baker. I'm the archivist for Mind Veterans UK. We were founded uh, in 1915, and so we were founded in response to the First World War and the large quantity of men uh, that were coming back blinded from the war. We were one of a number of uh, organisations, of charities indeed, um, that were founded at around this time um, that were attempting to uh, assist, rehabilitate um, the men who was coming back uh, injured, wounded in some uh, form or possibly multiple forms. Uh, we were based in Regent's Park. Uh, we did though have a number of other properties uh, around the country and uh, we had a base in, in Brighton which opened uh, very soon after we started so we've also always had uh, links with Brighton. We were founded by a gentleman called Sir Arthur Pearson who was a fascinating man, a remarkable man, who had himself um, gone blind Pearson saw it as, as learning to be blind, a, a holistic uh, approach, which involved um, training, a specific training, which for um, the majority of the, the men we were helping uh, was often occupational training, things like poultry farming, uh, massage as we called it at the time, physiotherapy now, uh, boot repairing, basket making, things they could actually go on to earn a living with afterwards. Um, there were also more general life skills um, that would be useful. We taught braille, uh, we taught typewriting, um, and we also had a whole range of social um, and indeed sporting activities as well. This approach, um, it, it was something that was very much ingrained in uh, the ethos of our charity and came out of the views of, uh, of our founder, Sir Arthur Pearson. Um, but it was certainly something also that um, other charities were, um, and other organisations were taking forward as well. Um, so that would encompass um, the work that was being done um, at the Royal Pavilion um, in Brighton, for example. All these organisations did tend to look at uh, not just the kind of practical uh, and technical uh, help that people required, but also at their life beyond that. Sir Arthur was terribly keen, we were terribly keen, uh, to overturn the idea that um, blind people were just objects of charity and of pity. Uh, he felt very strongly that, that was not the case, that given the right support, skills, help, you could live more or less just as a sighted person could. I frequently think our, our founder would have been both astonished and delighted uh, at, at the fact that we're, we're still going nearly 100 years on from when we were founded. But our membership has widened considerably in recent years because since 2000 we have also been uh, caring for anybody who has lost their sight, uh, who has been in service but not necessarily lost their sight um, as a result of or whilst in uh, service. Uh, so we're helping uh, more people now, substantially more people certainly than we were 10 years ago. We have many plans for the, uh, for the centenary, yes. Um, essentially what, what we're trying to do is both put on events which uh, will be things that the blind veterans that we currently help will be able to take part in. Um, we also, of course, want to use the opportunity to um, promote the fact that we're, we're around as a charity, the work that we do, uh, the fact that we're actually um, very happy to, to hear from other people who uh, might be eligible for our assistance. Uh, people may not be aware that we've changed name relatively recently. Uh, we used to be called St Dunstan's, we're now called Blind Veterans UK. And of course, yes, we're an organisation that came out of the First World War and we're very much participating in wider First World War commemoration activities.